Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to see how you can create a tic-tac-toe game in Java using all the basic concepts that we have learned till now. Let's get started. Now I don't have to tell you how tic-tac-toe game works, we have all played it in the past. So I'm going to create a new file, a Java file, tic-tac-toe. And you can find the link to the code in the description below. So if you want to check out my code, you can uh, just click on the link below and uh, you can directly run the code that I'm writing over here, which is pretty cool. So if you want to try it out on your browser, on your phone, you can check out the code link. And because people ask on always the code link and you can directly run it from, uh, you know, you can directly fork it and you can run it. Cool. Okay, so this is what the tic-tac-toe game looks like. So our board, we're going to have a 3x3 three three board. So let's have that, a 3x3, three three, let's say, a 2D array. A 3x3 three three board. And after that, we're going to initialize the board. Initially, we'll have all the empty spaces. We'll have all the empty spaces. So what we can do is, row is equal to zero row is less than board dot length and row plus plus for int column is equal to zero column is less than board of row dot length column plus plus we're just going to initialize it as empty empty all right so now we have it as empty now we all know how the game of tic-tac-toe works there are two things you have to think about over here Kunal, how are we going to place the elements which is x or zero so let's say your current player if you talk about the current player current player let's say it can either be it can either be your x or it can be your circle we all know this so first let's say x plays, so x goes over here. Now it will ask you, where do you want to play the current, uh, uh, another move. It's like, okay, I want to play it over here, let's say. And we're like, okay, where do you want to play the other move? I want to play it over here, for example. Where do you want to play the other move? I want to play it over here, for example. Where do you want to play the other move? So you can either be like, I want to play here or I want to play here or whatever. So we need to figure out a few things. So so here, first thing we have to think about is how it's going to take input. So you have your player, which is X or zero. So it'd be like X or O that uh, now X is playing. So next time O will play. Then next time X will play. Next time O will play. This will keep on going till the game is not over. Keep on going till the game is not over. Now game will be over when there's like a same number of characters in either diagonal or row or column. So for example, this like, this is a winning situation, right? This is a winning situation. So you get the idea how players win. A diagonal can be a winning situation. Okay, so we'll talk about the gaming winning algorithm later on. But firstly, we have to figure out how do we input the elements over here? So ideally, all the things are character, it's a character 2D array, so it's empty. And we will have just one variable called, let's say, current, uh, current player that we have over here. So if we can say that my char player initially let's say it starts with x initially it starts with x and i'll have a boolean game over initially it's false because my game is not over right now okay and we have to take input as well the scanner scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in no problem now we're going to run a, run a loop. Now we're going to say that while my game is not over, not game over, I will first of all for every move. Now this in this loop, you will have every move. Okay. Think about it. Look at the diagram. Think about it. What do you want to do? We want to first of all print the board so that the person will be like, okay, this is the board. Now I want to place somewhere. I will let you know where I want to place. So print the board first. So I will say print the board board i have to create this function i'll create it here 
public static print the board okay void and it will print the board will fill that later on now we want to say that um, enter your how are we going to take the input we can ask it for rows and columns so you can be like hey i want to let's say 0 1 2 indices 0 1 2 so you want to place over here and you can be like i want to place at 0 comma 2 okay no problem so you can be like player player enter so coordinate i can say int row is equal to now going to change let's say we can have a new int row and i can say this can be scanner dot next int and int call is equal to scanner dot next int this is going to get the coordinate now you have to first check if this coordinate is already full or not if it's not empty only then you will do it so if board of row and column is equal to equal to empty then only do it otherwise just say system dot out dot print ln invalid move invalid move try again but when the move is not invalid what are we going to do we are going to place the element so place the element so you can just say board of row call is equal to player which will either be x or y sorry x or 0 and uh, game over it's going to be equal to if you have 1 have 1 who has 1 in this particular board the player if the player has 1 now this we have to create right we would have to create this algorithm so I'll just add it over here public static boolean has 1 and char board char player we're gonna have to think about that algorithm as well okay so game over now here you're gonna say that if game is over if game is over then you can just print current player has one player player has one right otherwise my current player is going to switch so player is going to be equal to let's say i can switch it like let's say i can say if my player is equal to equal to x player switch to o else player is equal to x okay so if player was x it will be o otherwise it will be x you can also write it in the short one line inline format you know using the question mark i can uh, show you that as well okay so i can just say player is equal to let's say if player is equal to equal to x if that is true then it will return o otherwise it will be x okay 
very simple stuff that's it now afterwards what we're going to do is the final board game we're going to print like i'm going to say print board board and that's it sounds good now we just have to create these uh just fill these print board is simple print board is very simple so let me just copy paste this in print board board dot length board of row dot length i'm just going to say system dot out dot print ln board of row and call plus a space and we don't need to create a new line only a new line will be after every row has been printed just print a new line that's it now if we think about how would we decide who has won so we have to check the rows we have to check the columns and we check the diagonals very simple stuff as i mentioned already either the across the if we can talk about some columns or we can talk about the diagonals or we can talk about the rows so this is very very simple so let's say we check uh, check the rows so if we check the rows i can say for int uh, just copy paste this row is equal to zero and row is less than board dot length row plus plus i can add a condition that if board of row is equal to equal to sorry row and zero which is let's say we're checking the first row and um, so this will keep on changing but we're having let's say for every single so this will keep on changing but we're having it for every single column so it will check this then it will check this then it will check this so all of these three should be equal so row of zero and one and two so if we're talking about row zero then zero comma zero zero comma one zero comma two all of these should be equal to what equal to character player so let's say x x x like this and and all three should be equal i will say return true otherwise check for column so column it's also going to be the same because it's 3 3 only but for convention's sake i will write call here and uh, column wise this will be fixed for every because we're iterating over the column right so two one zero then you can return true if you want you can do it like this for convention's sake now diagonal diagonal so for diagonal i can just say that if board of 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 and uh, 0 2 1 1 2 0 if those are same then you can return true so if board of 0 0 is equal to equal to player and and board of 1 1 is equal to equal to player and this is equal to equal to player return true one one two two otherwise this diagonal so zero two and then one one and then we have two zero okay 
that sounds good if none of these conditions are true then just return false that's it and when i saved it it formatted it automatically so that's good that's basically about it that's our program okay one more thing i can do is when i'm printing the board i can actually print a dash here so that it's more visible let's run this player x enter let's say 0 comma 0 so now my board is over here player 0 enter 1 comma 1 so i'm over here player x enter let's say 2 comma 0 so over here now player 0 enter player 0 will enter let's say i want to I don't want X to win, so I will enter 1 comma 0. Now player X will enter, let's say I don't want 0 to win. So I can uh, maybe add, uh, or I can just, you know, just for fun's sake, I can just write uh, 0 comma 2. Now 0 will win, so yeah, 1 comma 2. So player 0 has 1. That's it. Simple game. Okay. So try it out and uh, you can make a GUI as well if you want using some applications. But uh, yeah, very simple game. And uh, check out the data structures algorithms bootcamp that we are running. And uh, if you want to clear your coding interviews and uh, the code for this, this entire code, you can find in the description below. You can click on the link and fork it and uh, run it on your own uh, pro platform browser or whatever you can download the code on github anything you want to do with it you can do with it but yeah thanks a lot for watching and uh yeah do play around with the code if you want to edit it and uh yeah all the links and resources are in the description below if you have any questions leave those in the comment section below happy to answer those and i'll see you in the next one have a great day